Hello and welcome to Authors Training and Support Module 5. In this module, we are going to discuss about how to submit an article. So, uh, the article can be submitted easily by MBRP, Manuscript Peer Review Process. And all the manuscript must be submitted online only. Here are some basic steps of how to submit an article. First, you need to register or log in as an author by filling all the required details. If the user is new time user with IP novelty, the person need to register first and then after email verification can log in as an author and can submit the manuscript. So this is step one. First, you need to register or else log in as an author. Then step two. Use submit article option from manage article tab as here you can see on the left side of the screen in the author dashboard you will be able to see the submit article option you'll be clicking on this option after that the step three select the journal of your choice where you want to submit the paper when you will be clicking on submit article you will be getting first option of journal selection so from here select journal you can Choose the journal from the drop down box. Here we have 50 plus journals. So you can choose the journal as per your paper. After that, step four is article information. Like it will ask for article type, article title, abstracts and keywords. So again, as you can see in the picture also, there it is asking for article type, the article title, the abstract, keywords and all other required details. Then step five, fill subject categories as per your paper and your area of interest or specialization. So the next step after article information is subject information. It will ask for three subject categories. Number one is main subject category. Number two is sub subject category and sub subject category again. So this image as I have chosen the subject nursing and in nursing, I have chosen the sub-subject pediatric nursing. Whereas in pediatric nursing also, my main paper's topic might be neonatology. So these are three kind of categories that an author should choose as per their area of interest and as per their paper. The next step is to add author information. It will ask for all the listed details. So now it's time to add the authors in a paper as it is asking for email ID, ORCID ID, name, contributors, role, country, designation, department, affiliations, etc. So, in this manner, authors can be edited very easily. Then, author information, it will ask for the listed details. Like, who will be the corresponding author of the paper? So, if suppose i am adding three authors and author number one is the corresponding author i'll be choosing the corresponding i'll be pointing out corresponding here and after confirming all the terms and conditions i'll be moving to the next step next up is file upload then add articles file along with the cover letter by simply using upload article file option and upload cover letter option after that the uploaded files should be in word format only after that it is select review process printing type and funding source of information like review process the uh, peer re normal peer review or fast track peer review you can choose as per your requirement then publication charges it will be coming automatically after selecting the printing type like black and white printing or colored printing and you can choose the funding option also last step is it will ask for analyzing all your details you need to check all the details before submitting to the journal and after clicking on the submit button it will give you the article submission confirmation and it will give you the unique reference number that is article reference number it is four digit code so in future whenever you will be contacting to the editorial office you need to mention it is mandatory you need to mention this number in each and every communication because each article will be tracked by this number only so i hope uh, by this video you'll be able to learn like how to submit a paper with ip innovative thank you so much for being a part of this video stay tuned for our last video of this training and series